Hey guys, what's up? It's Marcus from Mr. Street Recording Studio and Icon Digital USA. Today we'll be doing an overview of the QCon Pro from Icon. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. The QCon Pro is a 2.0 high speed USB device. All you simply do is plug into your USB port and power your QCon Pro on. The QCon Pro comes with 9 motorized faders, 8 for each channel and 1 master fader. To the right of each fader is a row of 12 LED lights to display your levels for a solid mix. Above the LED lights, there is a single LED light that it turns blue every time you touch a fader. Each fader is touch sensitive. The only meter without leveling is the master meter. Each fader also comes with its own driver for a smooth flow. Located above the meters, you have a selection hub for select, mute, solo, record. That allows you to take full control of your mix on each individual track. Located above the selection hub, you will see eight encoder knobs. These encoder knobs allow you to control each send through reverbs, delay, etc. Located above your encoder knobs, you will see a LED screen display that allows you to keep control and know exactly where you are in your mix. You can control where you are in your mix through the track controls with an unlimited digital bank that allows you to control every track you have in your DAW. Located in the upper right hand corner you will see a time display. That allows you to keep full timing of where you are in your song at all times. Located below your timing screen you have three buttons which allows you to select your DAW mode. You can scroll through different DAWs by going left and right. Upon powering the, the QCon on, you have precisely 5 seconds to select which DAW you will be using. I currently have mine in Pro Tools running Pro Tools 9 HD2. Also I can choose between Ableton Live, Samplitude, Logic Pro, Cubase, New Windows, and I can also go into MIDI Learn. I'll simply go to Pro Tools, select DAW mode, Pro Tools mode is now selected. Below your display mode, you have your MIDI function selection menu, Shift, F1, through F8. Below functions you have your assignment menu. Track, pan and surround, EQ, control your sends, plugins, and your instruments. The QCon Pro comes with an all new jog wheel which allows you to roam through your tracks freely. To the left of the jog wheel you have your zoom function. You can scroll to the right, to the left, up, and down and it allows you to really dig into your tracks, stretch them out, and bring them back, zoom in, and zoom out. The QCon Pro comes with a fully functioning transport menu, which is allows you to stop your track, play, record, rewind, loop, fast forward. You can also control your click, your solos, replace, nudge the tracks, put a marker down, or a drop, which allows you for easy selection anywhere in your mix. The QCon Pro comes equipped with Mackie Huey protocol for Pro Tools and MIDI Learn mode. I am now using the QCon Pro and 1EX with Pro Tools 9 HD2. To secure proper setup, all you need to do is go to your setup menu, scroll down to peripherals, and you will see your selection menu pop up. In the tab selection menu listed above, I'm going to click MIDI controllers, go over to my type menu, click on the scroll menu, and make sure that the Huey protocol is properly selected. I will then go over to my Receive From menu, click on my scroll menu, and you will see predefined. I will then scroll to the right and make sure that my Icon QCon Pro is selected and also repeat those steps in the Send To selection menu. You have eight channels, so you will see your eight channels are available to the right. After this process, simply click OK and your Icon QCon Pro will sync with Pro Tools. Well guys, thanks for watching the overview of the QCon Pro. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me at marcus.galloway at icondigitalusa. Enjoy the music, guys.